Hello, two beans. How are you? It's been decades. You're like, no, it hasn't been, but okay. Whatever. I got some incense going on over here. I don't know what you can see and what you can't see. I guess we're going to find that out in editing at some point when I go to edit all this crap. But I want to talk about candles. Okay, now we all know these types of candles, right? Like the pillar, not the pillar, the dinner candles or... Well, these aren't really dinner candles. These are tapered candles, right? Tapered candles are fun. We all know how to do magic with tapered candles. These have cool little designs, but these are... These feel broken. <laughs> You're like, what? Oh, they are broken. Oh, it's broken in the middle. Racist! The privilege that the person who made these candles had needs to be expunged from reality. You're like, what are you even ranting about? Don't even worry. Anyway, so I'm gonna use these candles for the Morgon because they're red. She likes anything red. That's, that's all I know. You're like, that's all you know? <laughs> yes, that's all I know. We're gonna talk about the big candle in a minute, so just calm down. So we're gonna talk about this candle, okay? This is a 36 hour candle, it was also a dollar or so. I think it was just a dollar. It doesn't have a price on it. Take that crap off. <laughs> now, this candle is interesting. Ew. What is this crap underneath? You know what? No one cares. This candle smells. This isn't a smelly candle. But the bottom of it, smell the bottom. Smell it. You're like, that's too close to the camera. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so with these types of candles, ew, they're sticky underneath. Ew, why is it sticky? Ew, gross, nasty. Ew, it's sticky. Anywho, <laughs> these types of candles, what I would do for workings, um, let's move this out of the way so you can see a little bit better. But these types of candles, what I would do is because they're multicolored, so there's white, green, a dark blue. I like to use these types of candles for long-term magics that could affect multiple things. So for example, maybe you're protecting your job, right? Because there's green and there's white. I usually use white for protection-based magics if I have the candles. Um, this color down here could act like a reversal, right? You're reversing any negativity or any effects that's happening to you. Um, I'm sure you could turn, I don't think you could turn this candle upside down and burn it because it's got one of those metal wicks, I think, inside. But a candle like this, you could easily just melt the bottom, get access to the wick, and do a reversal candle. These are really simple to do. Let's not use the broken one. Are they both broken? No. Okay. So, like, if you only have pillar can or taper candles and you want to do, like, a reversal spell, you could just easily turn the candle upside down, melt this a bit to get access to the wick, and burn it down that way with your intentions because you are reversing the candle. When you can't afford reversal candles because maybe you don't have a witchy shop near you or you don't have a botanical store in your city or your town or whatever, if you can find multicolored candles that are more meant for decorations, that will also work. You can also find taper candles. Um, but you could also use these types of candles, like I said, for uh, multiple workings that are going on at once. But those multiple workings would have to kind of relate to each other. So like, as I gave the example, you're protecting your job. You're keeping the money flowing, but you're protecting that stability. And any bad luck that comes towards you or any kind of magic that would affect that would be reversed by this darker part of the candle down here, okay? So I just quickly wanted to talk about these candles. I mean, we all know how to do magics with these. You can dress these types of candles. You can burn these types of candles. These types of candles apparently take 36 hours to burn. Um, these types of candles, I see this on TikTok all the time. Stop. Stop, you fire safety. Oh my God, you people are so fucking stupid. So what I see on TikTok all the time is people will put these on a plate and they will let them burn 24 seven. No, it's an 
there's no glass around it. There's nothing. Even with the ones that have glass around them, you still don't want to do that because half the time they're not made properly. So the wick isn't standing up straight. So as it burns down, it could get too close to the glass. It could cause the glass to crack. The wax could start spilling everywhere. As we all know, candle wax is very flammable. So do not let these burn when you are not paying attention to them. Don't let any candle burn when you're not paying attention to it. Don't leave your house. Don't leave the room. Don't leave the, the space. Don't, it's like a, it's like a toddler. You don't let it out of your eyesight. Okay. Not at all. So let's talk about, so these are like peasant candles, right? Like these are a dollar, like $2. This is like maybe a dollar or two. I can't remember how much this one was, but like, right? Because we're peasants. We're not rich. That's the other thing that I'm seeing so much on TikTok is these fucking bitches going all over the place being like, oh, look, look at this $3,000 Athame knife. I mean, it wasn't $3,000, but you get the point. And they're all, and, and that's fine. I mean, buy the fancy stuff. But don't be, you know, like shoving it down people's throat. Like that's pissing me off. So these, this is, I bought this from a place called HomeSense. And it's kind of like a, um, uh, how would I put it? It's kind of like a discounted store for um, uh, like decorations that they would put in homes they're trying to sell, if that makes sense. So like show home furniture and show home decorations, right? Like they sell that stuff. And they also sell like Calvin Klein comforter sets for like 50 bucks where they would normally be like $300, right? So like it's a discounted store where you get to make your house look nice. So this is called a Peck Sniffs uh, England 1983 rose and peony candle. And as you can already tell, the wicks, I don't know if you can see the wicks, but they're not centered properly. So the three wicks are more towards the glass. So instantly using this as a working candle, you could still do it. But reading it might be difficult. This was 1999 and not a peasant buy. For us peasant witches, this is like a once a month thing. Like this is the most expensive thing we can afford for our craft because we're poor. We don't make any money. We're very, very poor people, okay? We're peasant witches. We're backwoods. We're using what's, you know, what we have available to us. We're not going out and buying the billion dollar things because we're peasants, okay? We're peasants. We're very, very poor. So, this type of candle, you can use this in a working. Now you might be thinking, how the hell do you use that in a working? There are three wicks and no, it's not three separate jobs. What I would do is if you only have one patron or matron, I would only light one of the wicks. In my case, I could light one for the Margon, one for Boone, one for Dentalion, if I was doing a working that involved all three of them, or Margon, Boone, and Clonic, or Citri and Margon, or just whatever. So I would use the wicks to represent the entities that I have called upon. I would still dress this candle, I'd still poke the holes into the candle, and put the oil in, and put some herbs on, and burn it. I would not let this sit overnight burning, or in a room where I don't have eyesight on it, because even though the glass is thicker, it will still crack, okay? It will still break, it will still shatter, okay? Don't be stupid, stupid. So these types of candles, okay, these particular types, and I'll use one of these as well. So these, that's, that's a bad positioning. These three types of candles, including uh, bigger versions of these pillar candles that you can find at Ikea, these are meant for long-term workings, okay? You're not trying to get something tomorrow out of these workings. These types of workings are meant to go on for months or weeks, weeks or months. Sometimes you'll even have to replace these candles because they could go on for years. Now, the types of long-term workings I'm talking about is, let's say you're saving to buy a house, right? That's a long-term goal. That's not something you're going to accomplish tomorrow. Let's say you're trying to find love, 
That is a long-term goal. That's not something you're going to accomplish tomorrow unless you use hookup apps, but that's not love. Let's say you're trying to develop a new relationship with a new deity. These candles would be perfect for that because it's a long-term investment. Okay, it's very important that you realize that when you use these types of candles, you're not using them for quick gain. You would be working with, if you work with demons, you'd be working with kings. Okay, kings would be really great for these types of candles. Um, you'd also be focusing on your goal that you want, your true desire. What is it you truly want? And of course, you'd have to be doing the mundane and you'd have to be doing all of that stuff. Because if you're doing long-term magics, but you're not doing anything in the mundane to progress it, then it's not going to come to come to fruition. I think a lot of people, especially on TikTok these days, have this concept that magic just works. It just happens. And that's not the case because we gotta put the work in as well. We have to manifest it. It's we, we manifest it in our mind's eye and we put it out to the universe, but we have to bring it into physicality by doing the mundane things that would bring it into physicality, right? So you're not going to just light these candles and do some magics to get a house and $150,000 is gonna land into your lap tomorrow to, to put down as a down payment or whatever. Like that's not gonna happen, okay? That's not gonna happen. You gotta think about what the steps are and write them down, write down the steps to getting what you want and maybe fold them and put them underneath the candle and, and maybe you light the candle only once a week and you sit for an hour and you meditate and you review, okay, what have I done? Where, what, where am I in this process? And all of that stuff, okay? So I hope you got something out of this video, Scoobies. And until next time, my fabulous boobies.